You guys either want to see me suffer or you want to see this experiment because today we're putting all these protein powders in one giant protein ice cream and we're going to see if it tastes good or not. Because I reviewed every single my protein flavor and at the end of that video I asked you guys, you guys want to see me put every single flavor in a blender and try it and you guys wanted to see it. So I'm here to do it for you. Let's get into it. What are all the flavors that we have here? Well, chocolate brownie, chocolate smooth whey, chocolate smooth casein, cookies and cream casein, marshmallow cereal, salted caramel, fruity cereal, birthday cake, and unflavored. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm removing unflavored out of here because we do not want unflavored protein powder in, like the whole point of this video and the whole point of this is to mix all these flavors together. So, you know, unflavored, like what? Are we just gonna add powder? I might as well just go add flour, like no. But everything else is getting thrown in the blender. This is gonna be a salted fruity chocolate birthday marshmallow cookie and caramel cream. I got my train of protein powders lined up, waiting to get into the blender. I got my food scale on, I'm just gonna go five grams down the line. Let's see who's up first. It's an 11 pound bag of chocolate brownie. Where's the blending stick? There we go, I gotta put this in now because if I put it in later, well, the powders are gonna get stuck inside and underneath it. So, five grams of chocolate brownie. That was seven grams. Time to take some out. Everything is going in this bowl and then the bowl of powders is gonna get dumped in here. Who's next? Chocolate smooth, five grams. Marshmallow cereal. Cookies and cream casing. Does it taste like cookies and cream? Absolutely not, it just tastes like cream. The filling of an Oreo, which is, I mean, the best part of an Oreo. If you haven't seen my actual review on my protein flavors, go watch that video. I break every single one of these down. Salted caramel is next. I absolutely love this flavor. It is salty and caramelly, just like the name. And I know you're like, well, isn't that obvious? Well, no, because I feel like half the protein powders do not taste anything like their name. So, I mean, come on. Protein powder brands, you gotta get it right. Fruity cereal going in. This one I'm a bit afraid of because I mean, fruity cereal with everything else going on, like, is that gonna work? I don't know. Chocolate brownie, amazing flavor. Tastes like Swiss mix hot cocoa. Well, not really taste, tastes like chocolate, but smells like Swiss mix hot cocoa. I was like, wait, I'm not getting any hot cocoa vibes. And then I read the bag in. It's chocolate smooth, not chocolate brownie. Birthday cake. It's not my birthday, but it is now. Did we do every single one? I'm gonna watch this video over and find out. Watch the video over again, and yes, we have every single powder in this bowl. Look at this protein powder orgy happening in this bowl right now. Let's make this protein ice cream. So things are gonna be kept super, super simple. No Greek yogurt, cause that's gonna be too tangy and might throw things off. No vanilla extract, cause well, that's vanilla extract, gonna mess up the flavor of the protein powder. So it's gonna be so simple. I'm even using regular almond milk, not even vanilla almond milk. So, you know, just a straight nut, no flavor. 100 grams of this. And this wouldn't be a protein ice cream without our gums, so guar gum, xanthan gum going in. That is what is going to turn this from an ordinary protein shake to a giant protein ice cream. A tiny amount of xanthan gum. The tiniest of the tiniest amount of guar gum. Powder is liquid in. Before we blend this, we need to add some ice, so I'm going to add 350 grams. A little bit over. There we go. Let's blend this thing. Electric blender right next to my wet sink. Well, wet sink as in sink with, but all sinks produce water. Electric blender next to my sink. Genius idea. Let's hope nothing goes wrong. Look at this thing. This monstrosity or 
this disaster. Creamy. Scoop. Scoop doesn't fall off, but it will fall into my mouth. First bite. What am I eating? Literally, it tastes like a lemon lime chocolate. It's so weird. So, this is horrible. All the good things about each of those protein powder flavors has died out completely. Why do I get the lemon lime taste from the fruity cereal over everything else when that's just one powder? I don't know why. It's not even that strong of a protein powder, but I get that lemon lime taste. That's the first thing I get. And I do not like it at all. I don't get any salted caramel. I can tell there's a little chocolate in the background, but it's not punching me in the face with chocolate. I get like a vanilla, slight chocolate, lemon lime flavor. The marshmallow cereal has gone. Never try this. So if you... If you have a ton of flavors of protein powders, don't mix all of them. Do you guys drink protein shakes? Let me know down below because there was no way I could have just put every single one of those protein powders with some almond milk, shook it up, and tried it for you guys. Like, that would not have been fun. It's way more fun making a giant protein ice cream, and so that is what I did. But do you drink protein shakes? Like, protein shakes are super convenient if you want to get protein in, but... It's just not fun. Like I'd rather just wait and have an actual meal or at the very least a protein bar because those are delicious than a protein shake. I never want to have a protein shake ever again in my life. What you guys want, I will do. You guys ask for it, I'll do it. You know, your support has been out of this world so it's the least I can do for you guys. So let me know. Any recipes you guys want me to make healthier, low calorie or just want me to experiment with and hopefully try to get a video out for you guys if I can get it right. Well. Drop it down in the comments and I got you guys. How far am I into this? I haven't even made a dent, I feel. This is just not good. What is this color? Let's add a little bit of sugar-free maple syrup to this and see if it makes it any better. A circle drizzle of that. Of course it makes it better, but it still sucked. A little bit of chocolate syrup. Maybe this will help this ice cream decide. I am a chocolate ice cream. Still awful. for you this is my ginormous dog alaskan husky it's not really an alaskan husky it's actually a Catan de tulier and he is 10 pounds and licks a lot look i got some ice cream for you yes i stop attacking me no you've calmed down Good boy. All right, I got some ice cream for you. Look here. I got some ice cream for you. Here you go. You want to give it a little like? Here, here. Hey, hey, have some. No. What? You drink puppuccinos from Starbucks all the time. You want to have a lick? Lucky. Look here. Just lick this. That's how bad it is. My dog refuses to lick it. And he will absolutely eat anything. He's a unit, but... He literally goes down when he's in a situation that he doesn't like to try to get out of it. So, come on, just have a little, have a little bit. No, where are you going? Where? You, okay, fine. Sorry, you don't have to have any. I will. Look. Here. Just have a little bit. You know when I was saying this is bad? Yes, that's how bad it is. My dog won't eat it, and my dog eats literally anything all right all right be free
Go, be free. Run away, be free. That's it. Yes, there's a little bit left, but it's basically like ice chunks and stuff. Like, do you hear that? Yeah. The bottom of the Ninja Blender, there are always ice chunks no matter what you do. There's always gonna be like two ice chunks. And so I'm done eating, demolished. How many cups was that? Too many. I make recipes for you guys to make. Do not ever make this. Give the video a like if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new and I will see you in the next video.